And one guy who's been representing for the culture for a long time, man, you might have seen him on, you know, Celebrity Fit Club. Or maybe you picked up one of his books and he helped you get right and tight. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? For the new year, this is a dude who's solid. I believe in what he says, man. He's a man of the people. Make some noise one time for Dr. Ian Smith. Yeah. yeah. Yo, good morning, my brother, man. It is so much chaos and confusion going on right now. And, like, you know, the thing that we need the most, man, is definitely information, uh, you know, to get everybody in line, man. There's a lot of young people walking around ignorantly thinking this coronavirus is only an older person's disease. But that's not necessarily it. No, it's not at all. It's really, I want people to be really serious about this. Now, now they just reported that the global uh, prevalence is 200,000 people have been infected across the world, 8,000 deaths. You look at uh, the U.S., we're now up to 5,881 cases, 107 deaths. People look at that number and say, well, that's not a lot. Let me tell you something. The reason why that number is small is because people have not been tested yet. We've tested maybe 1% or 2% of all the people that really need testing because the government didn't have the test available and they didn't accept tests from other countries. So mm -hmm. that number is going to go up high. But people thinking that young people can't get the disease is really, really a travesty. Let me tell you why. Young people, yes, they tend not to exhibit the same symptoms or exhibit symptoms at all. They feel good. They look good. But just because you feel good and look good, it still doesn't mean that you can't infect someone else. And what's happening is young people are getting infected. They're not getting tested, but they're infecting an older person or someone else who then infects an older person. And then we're seeing these high death rates. So I want to encourage all the young people, that is, you know, teenagers all the way up into 30s and 40s are relatively young compared to an 80-year-old in a senior citizen home. But all everyone who's young, you have to take this very seriously. Keep the six feet apart in distance because that is how far these respiratory droplets can travel when you call and sneeze the six feet is a real number it's not a made-up number and be careful of public surfaces the virus can live for up to two to three days on public surfaces like knobs hand railings you really have to be careful of all that Wow. And, like, you know, a lot of people, like, walk in ignorance. You know, you see videos from people like Idris Elba who doesn't, like, you know, physically look sick. You know, they're mm -hmm. asymptomatic. Can you please speak to, the, you know, that note as well? Like, just because someone doesn't look like they have it doesn't mean that they don't. 100%. There are a lot of, the, first of all, let me just say that the vast majority of people who have this illness are going to get through it fine. This is not the end of the world. No one should panic. You should be alarmed, but no one should panic. This is not the end of the world. But... People who have underlying disease, underlying conditions, particularly those who have respiratory problems like asthma or things like congestive heart failure or diabetes, and older people who have weakened immune systems already because of their age, they are very vulnerable and they will have the higher death rates. But younger people, they're now showing their early signs that young people who didn't even know they had the disease, who felt fine, who recovered from the disease, they've done lung scans over in Belgium. They found that their lungs are scarred for life. So it's not wow. just about, yeah, it's unbelievable. It's it's not just about how you feel now. They are seeing serious lung damage in young people who felt okay and looked okay, but down the road, 5, 10, 15 years, they're going to have lower oxygen care, uh, carrying capacity and respiratory capacity because they're having scarred lungs. Mm. Dr. Smith, let me ask you as well. There, a lot of people are, are self-quarantining. They're staying away, staying in their houses and things of that nature. And they're starting to get a little stir crazy. I want And since you are a physical, you're all about physical health and making sure that we're healthy uh, and we're getting that we're getting active. What are your thoughts on still trying to be active, even if you're in the house and your thoughts on like getting outside? Because some people think they can't leave the house at all. But I do believe you can like go out and take a walk in nature. Things It's just, as you said, a matter of distancing. Can we speak yeah. to some of the physical activity that can be done or other things that can be done um, while you're staying away from people? Absolutely. So if you go to my Instagram page, at Dr. Ian Smith, spell the doctor out, I-A-N Smith. I post free challenges. I post free exercise videos. So check out my page. You can see some things you can do right at your house. In fact, I just started this year talking to people about doing, being able to work out at home. So there are all kinds of things you can do. Full body weight exercises. Doesn't require machines, but you just got to get your heart rate up. That's the key, by the way, to exercise, getting your heart rate up. These things you can do right at your house. You don't need any equipment, by the way. So that's number one. Number two, you can still go out. No one's saying you can't go out, okay? It's not like Italy, where Italy is saying stay in the house. What we're saying is, though, when you go out, Keep your distance. Go into open spaces. Go into ventilated areas. If you're going to restaurants, obviously do not sit down in a restaurant. They should allow you to sit down. But, you know, you can have curbside or takeout. So go out, but just be careful. People have to understand that you don't know where someone else has been. You don't know if they've been in a house with someone who is ill or who's, who has tested positive. So you, and it's, this is not to, you know, look at people like to ostracize them, but you have to think 
that everyone you come in contact with who you don't know potentially could be carrying the, the virus. And this is what's going to help us get through it, guys. If everyone practices these good hygienic behaviors all at once, not some people saying, well, I don't really care, it's not going to happen to me. If all of us do it at once, we're going to get through this faster with less deaths. But if some people are saying, like people are saying, if you're black, your melanin protects you. I mean, these Internet rumors and social media rumors are outrageous. You know, black people and Hispanics can't get it because of our melanin. That is absolutely false. Water flushes it out of your system. That is absolutely false. We've got to stop, you know, propagating all of this nonsense and really stick to the hard scientific and medical facts. Now, Dr. Ann, like, you know, there's going to come a time where we're going to start personally knowing more and more people on a personal level, not from a pop culture level, that right. has it. Now, getting the coronavirus is not necessarily a death sentence, but if you do test positive for the coronavirus, what should you be doing to combat it from that point on? So there is no medication for the coronavirus right now. They're working on a vaccine for the future. That does not affect how we're doing right now. Right now, it's called symptomatic relief. You have to stay hydrated. You have to eat immune-boosting foods, things like fruits and vegetables, which are full of antioxidants, things that have color to it, purple, red, and orange. But things like citrus and peppers and broccoli, garlic is good, green tea, yogurt, kiwi, poultry, all these things are known to boost your immune system. And, that, and, and try a probiotic. The, you know, your, your immune system starts in your gut. So probiotics are healthy bacteria that help keep your, your gut bacteria in line. These are things you can do right at home and get some sleep. You've got to sleep. That's important for your immune system. And don't stress. Dr. Ian <laughs> kind of hard not to stress right now man i'm just saying you know what i'm saying it, it, it just put me on alert when you were just talking about how you know younger people ain't showing symptoms and you just assume that anybody you don't know has it like that's a stressful you know that's stressful to put on people man it is it is it is but if we all do it together if we do this together, we're going to get through this so much faster. But you got to just be cautious, you know. Yeah. I'm not saying people should go crazy. People hoarding toilet paper and sanitizer, that's ridiculous. The best way is to clean your hands with soap and water, believe it. Old-fashioned soap and water is better than hand sanitizer. Yeah. Of course, mm. if you can't get to soap and water, hand sanitizer is fine. But people can't panic and, and, and have these kind of desperation. People buying out shelves. It, it, stores aren't closing. Everyone's got to stay chill for a little bit, and we're going to get through this. No doubt. I feel like millennials have been training for this their whole life. You know, continue to just like stay away from people, look in your phone, and be distant. <laughs> like, you know, like, like we we could actually yeah, learn yeah. something from them. Yo, so <laughs> Doctor Ian Smith, thank you so much for checking in on us. Uh, you also got a lot of big things popping yourself, man. If you ain't up on my man Doctor Ian Smith, like his whole series of books can help get you together. And there's a lot of things already in there that was like you know talking about protecting yourself from these sort of things. He has a brand new book out right now called Clean and Lean, and uh, it's sort of a recipe book, right? Yeah. So it's a, it's a it's a diet book and a recipe book and next month hopefully i'll be with you guys if we can travel again my new book mind overweight which is all about getting your mind right to lose weight it's a great book that's coming out but definitely hit me up on instagram at dr ian smith spell the doctor out i a n smith yo doctor thank you thank you so much thank you for thank the you. info man we, we are the morning hustle